Hi, this is Dale with ComputerAfterCare.com. Today I want to talk to you about a portable freeware program called Dialafix. It has a lot of fixes to a lot of bugs that you might find in your Windows XP installation. And with that said, let's go ahead and go straight to their website so we can download it and demonstrate what I'm talking about here. Here I'm going to use Firefox, type in the URL. Now I know this is a very lengthy URL, so we'll actually just post this link here above the video. Now I'm going to go to the secondary download location. I actually had a problem with the primary last time. So we're going to save this file to our desktop. It's very small as you can see. It loaded, downloaded very fast. And there it is. Now hopefully you have some kind of program to extract compressed files like WinZip or WinRAR. I'm going to extract this to the desktop. There it's done. Anyways, there it is. So I'm going to open it up. You'll notice that there's two files in there. The one that we're going to run is called dialafix.exe. You can actually run this program from a thumb drive, an external drive, or whatever folder you put this in. So I'm going to double click it. And there it is. I'll close this window behind there. Now, in particular, I like to run the policies portion of this when I'm fixing an infected computer. It almost always discovers restricted policies which prevent you from repairing your computer, like disabling regedit, disabling the task manager, or even your desktop settings. And I'll also uncheck the hide disabled policies so it might show more. Now had I had some restricted policies in here, you're going to see them show up in a list. And all you would have to do at that point is just click remove and then close. And then you can go back and try to bring up your task manager or open the registry editor or change your desktop background or whatever that restricted policy might have been. Now some other features you'll notice here are very obvious, like you can empty temp folders. Uh, you might have had a pro problem with uh, installing programs where your Windows installer might have been corrupt. Basically all you'd have to do is just go check the box for the feature that you want to run and then click go. Uh, another thing that I find myself using fairly often is using Internet Explorer. I find it to get corrupted quite often and usually the fix for that will be under this tools icon and you'll notice that there's a drop down menu here and you can actually go and re repair and reinstall Internet Explorer there. And if you've ever had issues with like your system restore doesn't run, your help and support service, or you had to uh, re-enable your Windows firewall, you got permission problems, there's all sorts of tools in here that you can just go and click and then click go and it'll just do the work automatically from there. Just wait till it's done and then click close and hopefully it will have fixed the problem for you. Uh, other than that, there's a lot of other features in here that you can learn about on their support page. I just wanted to cover a few of my favorites. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Dale with ComputerAfterCare.com. Thank you and bye-bye.